Good morning, today is the 28th of May, and I'd like to read in Proverbs chapter 10, verse 25. When the storm has swept by, the wicked are gone, but the righteous stand firm forever. The only way you can stand firm forever is accepting the grace of God and receiving His salvation, the salvation that is in Jesus Christ our Lord. This meditation is about grace, wisdom, and words. And sometimes I speak about words or wisdom, but today I would like to speak about grace again and the gift that grace gives us in Jesus Christ our Lord, which is salvation. Salvation is a firm foundation that God has given us in Christ Jesus. It sets us free from sin and death and gives us eternal life. And Jesus is that person. Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house. Yet it did not fall, because it had its foundation on the rock. But everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on sand. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house, and it, if it fell with a great crash. When if, uh, if my life, if your life, if our lives are not built on the rock, when the great storm will come, it will be swept away. Jesus is the rock. He is our foundation. And by His grace, we can receive the forgiveness of our, of our sins. And if we have received it, uh, we are building our house or we have built our house on the rock. When the storms of this life will come uh, along or the great storm of the last day will come, we will stand. That's why Proverbs chapter 10 is saying that the righteous person stand firm forever. There is no condemnation now for those who are in Christ Jesus, says Romans chapter 8, verse 1. Because they are not building their life, lives on the, on the flesh, on religion, on philosophies. But they have built their lives in Christ. Because in Romans chapter 8, uh, if there is no condemnation, it's because uh, uh, our lives have been built in Christ. That's the only position of salvation. That's the only position where our house can stand firm, in Christ. It's extremely important in the, book, in the New Testament to talk about in Christ. Paul does it all the time, here in, in Romans and then in Ephesians, in Colossians. To be in Christ, it is a sure foundation. It's a sure position. He is the atoning sacrifice, that's why, for our sins, and not only for ours, but also for the sins of the whole world. He is the one who has set us free. Here, uh, behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. He came to take sin away, to get rid of sin in our lives. And we, do, we need that because the wages of sin is death. But we are building our lives on firm foundation, and that foundation is called Jesus Christ, the Son of God. He is the eternal life. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life, says Jesus in John 3, 60, 36. But whoever rejects the Son will not see the eternal life, for God's wrath remains on them. That's the great storm as well. The judgment of God. We are not under his, his anger. We are under His grace if we are in Christ. But if not, we are not in Christ, our house will be swept away. God bless you.